Hello fragrance specialists, my name is Chance, welcome to my guide, and thank you so much for taking a look at another one of our essential oil breakdowns. Today we're going to be going over oregano, which is super common both in the kitchen and in the aromatherapy world, and in your garden as well. In my childhood home we had a ton of oregano growing there and we didn't even really know, it kind of just grows like a weed you could say. In any case, oregano, relatively safe, you probably know what it is. Before we dive too deep into the profile, however, always consult your doctor before use. Just because you've dealt with it in the past, cooked it, eaten it, whatever, you don't know whether or not you're going to have a violent reaction to the oil, so please always consult a physician. Now let's quickly dive into its profile here. The scent is most commonly described as herbaceous, warm, and spicy. Under uses, you'll see antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, expectorant, and a stimulant as well, which is really interesting stuff. Under method of extraction, you'll see that it is steam distilled and it blends well with basil, bergamot, cinnamon bark, clove bud, lemon, red mandarin, orange, and sandalwood. Please do check Check out the playlist for all of those great videos as well. Under notes, it can cause irritation. It's not super likely, but at its higher concentrations, it is certainly considered to be an irritant. So always make sure you're following proper dilution and of course, best practices. And now let's quickly dive into its history here. Oregano is a culinary herb used for the flavor of its leaves, which can be more flavorful when dried than fresh, which is interesting. It has an aromic, warm, and slightly bitter taste, which can vary in intensity. Oregano oil has been used in folk medicine over centuries. Oregano essential oil is extracted from the leaves of the oregano plant, which isn't too, too surprising, but it is still good to know nonetheless. Super common throughout the world in a variety of different cultures, so you're really not going to have to worry about conservation issues on this one. Its price clocks in at around the $20-$25 range depending on where you're getting it, but overall its quality is pretty dang consistent, which I really do like. Now let's take a quick look at a recipe here. This is earthy scoring powder. The recipe is one cup of baking soda, one quarter cup dried crushed rosemary leaves, five drops thyme, and three drops oregano. In terms of the instructions, combine all ingredients in a container, preferably one with a shaker top, shake well, sprinkle powder onto surface, and scrub with damp cloth or sponge, and rinse well. Really simple stuff. Definitely applicable for your day-to-day -day life, which is always good to see in these recipes. So, of course, I'm looking forward to hearing what your experiences are with it. That being said, let me know down beneath if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or recipe ideas of your own. And if you're looking to add oregano to your collection or restock if you're running low, please do consider going through Rocky Mountain Essential Oils. It really does help support the channel. In any case, I hope you all have a great day, and as always, may all of your future endeavors smell divine.